Hello! The following video will review what you need to do to prepare for and collect a lactose, fructose, or glucose breath test. Your provider may have ordered one or more of these tests for you to complete. It is important to follow the instructions precisely to ensure accurate results. So what is a breath test? Breath tests are safe, non-invasive tests to help your provider with diagnosing your symptoms. The lactose breath test can determine if you have problems digesting lactose products. The fructose breath test can determine if you have problems digesting fructose products. And the glucose breath test is used to identify abnormal growth of bacteria in your intestine. First, let's review the contents of your breath test kit. You will have one easy sampler with tube holder. This is what you will blow into when collecting your breath samples. You will have vacuum sealed collection tubes. There are four for the lactose and fructose tests and 10 for the glucose test. Your breath will be captured in these tubes during the collection process. The bubble wrap bag is what you will pack the tubes in after the test is complete. You will have a label for each collection tube. Each kit also has a sugar packet. You will mix this with water to make your test solution on the day of the test. If you are mailing your test in, you will affix the postage to the outside of the box. There are also manufacturer directions that describe the test and collection process, and Minnesota gastroenterology prep instructions and diary. You will document the time you collect each breath sample on this diary. When choosing which day to complete your test, keep the following in mind. You must complete all antibiotic therapy two weeks prior to the test. You cannot have a colonoscopy or a barium study in the two weeks prior to the test. For the lactose breath test, you must also avoid all lactose-containing products for seven days prior to the test. Please note, pediatric patients are exempt from avoiding lactose. A couple other things to keep in mind is that the test takes three hours to complete, so you will want to plan accordingly. Also, if your provider has ordered more than one breath test for you, you must wait 48 hours between each test. Once you have selected which day you will complete your test, you will start your preparation the day before. On that day, you must avoid slowly digesting foods and high fiber foods. On the back page of the Minnesota Gastroenterology Prep Instruction document, there is a list of foods that are recommended and foods to avoid. Please follow these recommendations when planning your meals. You will follow the recommended diet until 12 hours prior to when you will start the test. Then you will start fasting, where you cannot take anything by mouth. The only exception is that you can have water during this fasting period. You will continue to fast until the test is complete. On the day of your test, you must not smoke for at least one hour prior to or at any time during the test. You must also avoid secondhand smoke during this time. You must not sleep or exercise vigorously for at least one hour prior to or at any time during the test as well. On the day of your test, you will prepare the test sugar solution. For the lactose and fructose tests, you will mix the entire contents of the sugar packet with eight ounces of water. Mix until the sugar has completely dissolved. Do not drink the solution yet. You will collect one breath sample prior to drinking the solution. For the glucose test, you will mix all or part of the sugar packet with eight ounces of water. If you weigh 165 pounds or 75 kilograms or more, you will mix the entire sugar packet in the eight ounces of water. If you weigh less than 165 pounds or 75 kilograms, you will use the following formulas to determine how many tablespoons of sugar to mix with the eight ounces of water. If you are calculating for weight in pounds, the formula is patient weight divided by 23. If you are calculating for weight in kilograms, the formula is patient weight divided by 10.5. This will give you the number of tablespoons to mix. Please note, for both of these formulas, you will either round up or down to the nearest tablespoon. 
As an example, for a patient weighing 145 pounds, we would divide 145 by 23 and get 6.3. Rounding to the nearest tablespoon would equal 6 tablespoons. When mixing, make sure to mix until the sugar has completely dissolved. Remember, do not drink the solution yet, as you will collect one breath sample prior to drinking the solution. For doing the collection part, uh, this is what your device will look like that you're going to be breathing into. Mouth goes around this part. The gray is the needle, so that's where you're going to be placing your tube. Make sure you put your whole mouth around the mouthpiece. If you collected any ambient air, it can actually fail the test. Um, the tubes do reseal themselves. You're going to do a total collection of about five seconds. Um, you're going to actually breathe into the bag first and then place the tube in and count to three. So you're going to put your mouth on, breathe into the bag, collect the middle of your breath, count to three, pull off, and then you're done. Make sure you only breathe into each tube one time. Excessive breathing can actually fail the test as well. So I'm going to give you a little example. And then you're done. Labeling your breath samples. Immediately after collecting each tube, it is very important to label them. Using the printed labels, document the date, time, and the tube number in the appropriate spots, and then place the label on the tube. You will also document the time of collection on the patient diary. When you have met all of the preparation requirements, you can start the test. The very first thing you will do is collect a baseline breath sample, as demonstrated earlier. Document the date, time, and tube number on a label, and place on the tube. Document the time the breath sample was collected in the patient diary as well. Next, you will drink the test sugar solution. You must drink all of the solution within three to five minutes. Document the time you drank solution in the patient diary. After drinking the solution, you will collect your subsequent breath samples at the appointed times. For the lactose and fructose test, this will be at one hour intervals. For the glucose test, this will be at 20 minute intervals. Setting a timer is helpful to not lose track of time. Please make sure to label each tube as you collect it and document in the patient diary. After the test is complete, you will put your labeled tubes in the bubble wrap bag. Double check to make sure your diary is completely filled out and place the bag of tubes and diary in the box. Since the test must be analyzed within 14 days of completion, you will want to return the breath test immediately. You have been provided postage to mail the test. Just affix the postage to the outside of the box, or you can drop the test off at one of our locations as well. These are some of the frequently asked questions about the breath tests. Are there any possible complications? These tests are very safe. You may feel minor discomfort from diarrhea, gas, cramping, or bloating. When can I expect results? Your provider will send your results 9 to 12 days after your test is received. What can I eat the day before the test? The Minnesota Gastroenterology Prep Instructions include a list from the test manufacturer of recommended foods and foods to avoid. I want to eat something that isn't on the list of recommended foods or the list of foods to avoid. Can I eat it? While it would be impossible to list all foods, if something is not on either list, it is best to avoid it. The recommendations are in place to ensure the most accurate results. Can I take oral medication during the test? No, please wait until after the test is complete. Can I chew gum or eat a hard candy during the test? No, please refrain from taking anything by mouth for 12 hours prior to or during the test, except for small sips of water. Can I brush my teeth during the test? No, please wait till afterwards. If you have any concerns about the test that have not been answered in this video, please call 612-871-1145 
Monday through Friday during regular business hours for assistance. Please check the website for details and hours. Thank you.